I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. You see the title, you know what time it is. I am testing out everything I picked up during my Sephora event haul. If you guys missed all the other videos, it is that time of the year. They are having the Sephora spring saving event. Now, of course, you shop during this time because you can save with the coupon that they give, but you know how you can also save? By using Go Cashback. First of all, I wanna say thank you to Go Cashback for sponsoring today's video. Second of all, if you don't know what Go Cashback is, it's as simple as getting cash back for shopping you were going to do anyway. It's really simple. You shop through the hundreds of merchants directly through their site. In this case, we're gonna go to Sephora and shop how you normally would. I'm gonna go ahead, include all the items that I wanna pick up during this spring savings event. They also have a Google extension, so you never miss any cashback when you shop online. And they also now offer offline cashback when you download Go Cashback app. Get 100% cashback for Starbucks, Whole Foods, and even more. Add in the promo code for this event, hit checkout, and boom, you shopped how you normally would. But because you did it through Go Cashback, you get a percentage of cashback back on your purchase. Now, besides being able to still use discount codes that the actual merchants have and getting cash back in general, some advantages to using Go Cashback compared to other cashback sites are that they have higher cashback rates and they have more cashback withdrawal options like check by mail, direct deposit, and PayPal transfer. And if you guys use my registration link, that'll be in the description down below, you'll get a bonus of $8 when you sign up. So yeah, if you were already gonna shop the sale, go ahead and use Go Cashback and save yourself even more money. Now that I've told you how to save some money, let me tell you my thoughts on these projects. I've tried pretty much everything that I'm going to talk about in this video already, except for the Dior concealer. So first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face using the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum Primer. I have used this as a primer. I've used it as just a serum like face type thing. It looks like you still have makeup on, even if you're just using this on the face. So definitely pick this up. I did see people saying that it already sold out, but Try going in store if you can, just pick this up during the sale if you can. Now technically this isn't available at Sephora, but this could also be like a trying new to me product in general because I received this Mented Perfect Prime Mattifying and Blurring Primer Stick in the mail and I wanna test it out. So I am going to use that where I get oily, I can take it out. This is what it looks like. Foundation, I'm gonna use the also by Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. I don't remember if I said this in the video, but I picked it up in the shade 22N. I picked up both the cap. Oh, <laughs> I picked up the KVD Beauty uh, Good Apple Concealer and the Dior Backstage Concealer. I already know moving forward I'm gonna keep using this one, but I bought this one, so it at least deserves a try. The shade of it is throwing me off. It's in the shade 5N. The wand is kind of cool.
Technically, I didn't buy this during the sale, but it's available at Sephora. It's new and it's dope, so definitely check it out. It's from Urban Decay. It's new all-nighter. Yes, they're still going with all-nighter. This is the Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. It's supposed to be like a mattifying in it. And the last thing I picked up is this set from Dior. It includes the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara. And then this is a Base Serum Mascara Lash Primer. Already tested this. I'm put the lash primer on the bottom lash because I already put lashes on. And that is it for my face, so a little mini reviews on everything that I picked up. I also have the brow sheet by Charlotte Tilbury on for my brows. I don't do them on camera, but I just want to let you know I have that on in this video. Highly recommend favorite brow pencil, uh, the Yummy Skin Primer, bomb. On its own and under makeup, on its own, like I feel like you saw it, but just giving you, you know, glazed donut. Just glow, especially if you like your skin to glow like that. Um, but you can see you can also tone it down if you have oily skin like I do under makeup. Um, it wears well throughout the day, like my, my face wears well throughout the day, so it's sold out for a reason, okay? Uh, the foundation. Again, I feel like it was giving clay stone, but I like that. I like the finish of it, and uh, with everything else that I put down on my face, it gives a nice balance for how my makeup wears throughout the day, while also how it looks on my face throughout the day. The Dior concealer, eh, she was cute. I guess you know she's just cute i don't think there's anything at least first impressions that's the only thing that i haven't tried that i put on my face today oh and the menti primer um the color you know it worked out for me i don't know she was real, a little watery a little thin you know for my makeup artists out there who like that like your skin but better like i only throw on concealer and go maybe you'll like that a little bit more but for me i already know i will stick to the good apple concealer from kbd beauty um what else was new the setting spray again i didn't get that during my order but it is available at sephora you already know how i feel about the all-nighter line but this one right here this specifies you know like it mattifies the face it does your makeup wears well after you wear it so this has been one of my go-to setting sprays lately and the mascara set I feel like it actually did something. The primer might be more of the star of the show, um, but I, the mascara on top, I look like I have bottom lashes, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at anything that I picked up during during this order. Oh, and the mented primer, it mattified my face. That also, I don't know how it's going to wear throughout the day. I'll give you guys an update on that one, but for my actual Sephora order, <laughs> two thumbs up for me. Listen, I recommend just about everything that I picked up. I'll get back to you on the, uh, the Dior concealer, but um, I'll let you guys know what other things I picked up during this event because I've got two orders on the way. Let me know in the comments down below what you've got on the way, what you picked up, and yeah, make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bell, all that, guess where, down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.